She did some bad fingers! The Skyline Traverse, this was going to be the uh, pinnacle of our trip. I don't think uh, you could ask any local here without them telling you that this is a must do. It's about a 17 or 18 mile journey, one way, and it's got a little over 6,000 feet of climbing, some awesome views of the Rockies, the, uh, the city below. Had a nice big brekkie, and we're getting ready to roll out. We lucked out with the weather here, so we were just uh, really stoked to get out on the trails, have a fun day, and uh, we were super lucky too because um, it even kind of came with a tour guide. Eric and Matt invited their friend Matt along, who's a badass in his own right, and uh, we couldn't have done it without him. It was amazing. Nice job, Pimps. Okay, we got the hard part over, right? No, so listen, quiet ass. I said, yeah. I heard there's 1,300 feet of gain in the first stretch here, and I said, is this counting towards that? He said, no. <laughs> Tour guide for the day, Maddie. Thanks, man. Matt, if you want to go up and come back, yeah. no. By all means. <laughs> What's that, Ron? The F Shack. Yes, Nick's F Shack. Nick's F Shack. <laughs> yes. Give Higgy a chance. <laughs> Let him go. Nice job, it. pimps. Stop at the F Shack there. Yeah, yeah right. Did you go easy on him, Nick? Bert is not real. Oh, Are we close to it? No, Dude, oh yeah. No, we're gonna... Just over 5k. Yeah. Yeah. Five point four, All up so far, right? Yeah. All up the hill, 5k. Just taking a snack break, a view break, a beard break. These cats are here. Nice job, gents. That's Pike's Peak right there, the snows. So I've learned that I'm not very good at describing the journey as I'm filming it. Um, but yeah, we are still going up here. It's uh, roughly a 2,300 foot climb to the South Boulder Peak through these uh, beautiful landscapes. And uh, we had to stop first at the saddle just to check out the views that we've earned. Drink it in, boys. We're in there. Longs, Mount Audubon, uh, some other 13ers in there. Actually, there's a glacier. It's not a true glacier, 
uh, because it does, I think it melts at the end of the summer. But that's Boulder's water supply. It's called the Rapaho Glacier. It comes all the way down. That feeds Boulder Creek. Wow. That's not. You coming up, Chris? Yeah, big mad drop off. Yeah. That scared me. That's we spent a good bit of time up here on South Boulder Peak. Uh, obviously, we earned this view. It was the toughest climb of the day, and obviously, it's gorgeous but we knew we still had some work to do and four more peaks to bag. So uh, we were on to the next one, which was Bear Peak. And uh, we basically just had to run back down to the saddle. And then it was a much shorter climb up to Bear Peak. It's fun to see the work we just did and it wasn't that long. We were just there, right? All right, Matt? What? Is that right? That's the trail we're running right here? Yep, we're gonna run down there. That's gonna be awesome. That's gonna be so beautiful. The flat irons. That's what that is? Yeah. Oh yeah. And there's Boulder University that we drove oh, yeah. by. And that's the reservoir at the up top there. That's where the Ironman's going half going down tomorrow, I think. It was a little bit of a scramble once you got towards the top of the Bear Peak. Um, so only a few of us uh, decided to go up there. Uh, it was only a short little climb, but uh, definitely worth it. Nice. You have so many fucking hats on you, holy shit. <laughs> I think we all do. They I'm counting the, like 50 on you. They love the neon. The descent down from Bear Peak was probably the steepest and most technical of the day, but it led to some of the more runnable sections of the day as well. And uh, then we were off to Green Mountain. <laughs> We just came from up there, and we've been going back and forth, making our way down. A little steep. How you doing there, Hendrix? Oh boy. Nice job. And then we're gonna continue the descent. A nice little runnable section in between the peaks. And then we're gonna keep going, going along the skyline traverse here. We did not stay on Green Mountain for very long because the weather started moving in. We felt some raindrops and heard some thunder, so we got the F out of there pretty quick. Ronnie was bombing the downhill so hard. Look, well, leave it in place though. Is that gonna oh, no. bag nice? Oh yeah. Right. That's buff life right there. Oh, was that the relay you're gonna do? Uh, nice, Maddie. Flagstaff Mountain, our fourth peak of the day. Um, you could kind of tell that some of the guys were starting to wane a little bit. Um, it was a hot day and it was a tough effort all around. So if you weren't used to it, then it was kind of normal to be, uh, to be hurting a little bit at this point. But uh, the two mats were definitely controlling the front of the pack really well, um, especially Bitters. Uh, just living out here, he just looks super comfortable all day long. 
and uh, they often waited for us, and it was great because you know we could just kind of catch up, have a snack, check on Ron's shoe, and uh, obviously drink some water and just tell some stories. So uh, we're super grateful to be out here, and uh, what a fucking day! I should find that uh, that that spot tomorrow <laughs> after the farm. <laughs> Little red rock in the distance too, eh? See that? Oh yeah, yeah. Well, that one section we just ran on had a lot of red rock too. Though. True. So True. Currently on the Flagstaff Trail, just over 11 miles in, eh, boys? And uh, we're just descending a couple miles more till we get to the, the first water stop. These views are ridiculous. Holy cow. These downhills. Well, this downhill is pretty smooth, eh, Higgy? Not as technical as some of the other ones we've seen. Of course I say that and... It's good looking up green if you look back. Isn't that amazing? We lost Ron and Nick. They're out looking for a blonde. I'm kidding, ladies. In case they see it. Well, you know Shannon will watch it. <laughs> you want that extra mileage, eh, buddy? Yeah, man. Hey, at least your match game's strong. Look at that color. Nice job, boys. What's the rule, Ron? You see around a bit, you go around a bit. Those are the real thick boys. Look at those puppies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, looking good. So in choosing to go the south to north direction that we did, uh, this park was about 13 miles into the 17 or 18 mile journey. Um, so we were all pretty much in need of water at this point and uh, the river was a nice refresher as well. So uh, we uh, took a little break here topped up our water supply to finish off the day and uh, kept on trucking through the Red Rock Trail and then on over to Mount Sinitas which is the last peak of the day. So yeah, that's the cathedral right down there. That was a hell of a climb though. Like you said, this would be great to come to uh, as, as a fresh workout, right? Yeah, so I used to do repeats on here. Most I ever did was six laps. Holy Never cow. And you went right to the top? Yeah, just car, top, car, top. And, did you, and when you went down, did you go down this side or the back side? I think I was coming up that side and then coming down this side. Wow, so that would even be more of a quad banger coming down this side. Yeah. Wow, that's impressive. Boys, uh, do you want to say anything to the boys back of the car? 
Who decided not to finish the whole route? Good choice, boys. That's <laughs> our beer. Yes. Better be ice cold. Please have some cold water. Cold water, cold beer. If it's not there, we're pissed. <laughs> Who cares, man? You're doing it. I love how he's not using that as an excuse either. Yeah. It's like the last thing he mentioned, only because we mentioned it. <laughs> this shoe. The OG, the Ghost, and Pretty Boy all went back to the original trailhead to get our car. And uh, Hazy went down to lick his wounds. And uh, the two Mats and myself oh, were yeah. trying to get to the top of Sanitas before the storm rolled in. Nice job. Good job, guys. Storms are blowing in over there. Flyboy, how are you feeling? today almost to your runnable road tech. look at that oh, what is that oh it's beautiful what is that? oh good as flyby and i were coming down the back side of sinitas uh we were talking about how bitters was just flying down the descent and teaching us a lesson we also couldn't believe that he had a beer mile going on tonight down after everything. Yeah, man. Good way to end it. We're on the last descent down Sinitas. This is awesome. So I think at this point we are all looking forward to the post-game celebration. We certainly earned a good meal and a beer. But we're also just talking about the incredible views from the day, the awesome trails, the runnable sections, um, you know, the river crossings, the technical descents, this trail really had it all, and I really think the pimps smashed it. Super proud of all of them. They just, honestly, just kicked ass, uh, embraced it. Uh, we all had a lot of fun. Huge thanks to Michaels and Bitters for not lapping us. Uh, huge thanks to Higgy for all the hospitality on the trip. Um, I mean, like Ron's shoe, I don't know how you did that. That was amazing. Uh, Ghost, thank you for your sure, boys. amazing oh, photography baby. skills and for teaching us how to properly use a running backpack. <laughs> um, but yeah, honestly, I just I could not believe that we barely even knew each other a little over a year ago. And now we're enjoying these incredible memories together. And I think all of us are looking forward to the next one. So cheers. We wanted to thank you for being an awesome run tour guide yesterday so we wanted to uh, make you an honorary member of the run pimps oh. we brought you a little lemon shirt from london ontario thanks brother awesome. yeah. 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 we got, we got lost yesterday without you man so yeah. thank you yeah, that was